Biofiltration is a common practice in Northern Europe. It offers a low-maintenance, chemical-free method for production of drinking water from groundwater sources. It relies on physical, chemical and biological processes that occur inside of a vessel filled with granular filter material. And it is commonly used uh, for the removal of iron, manganese and ammonium. The technology has existed for a long time, but the role of physical chemical and biological pathways in biofilters has just recently been clarified, uh, revealing a potential for biostimulation, which can increase the removal capacity of the filters. As it is a chemical-free treatment solution with low water energy consumption, Bifiltration can be particularly relevant to countries that want to pursue a decentralized drinking water production system based on groundwater sources. Research on biofiltration has also identified possibilities for co-metabolic degradation of pesticides. Removal of pesticides from groundwater sources has been a topic of interest by the scientific community and the latest research focused not only on biofiltration but also on other technologies such as membrane filtration, activated carbon and AOP. Solutions for reusing potable water and other alternative drinking water production methods are also gaining momentum. An increased number of references are added each year. I can highlight documentation on the design of operations and uh, of UV in potable water reuse solutions or alternative drinking water production from seawater by solar evaporation. The Digital World Water Congress includes 10 sessions on drinking water and potable reuse. By joining us, you will have access to both scientific and practical discussions of new trends in drinking water production. We look forward to seeing you there.